You ready? Yeah? Hi guys, my name is Melanie Newman and welcome to our grooming channel. Today we have the most amazing little guest. This is Bentley the Miniature Poodle. Now he is a brown miniature poodle, so today I'm going to give him a nice teddy trim, so make him look nice and round and really cute and really snuggly. He has a lot of hair, but we're gonna bath him first, dry him, and then clip him, scissor his legs, and then scissor his little head nice and round. So stay tuned. Okay, so he hasn't been groomed for around, I'm gonna say maybe nine weeks. His family were away on a trip. So he has had a good time. He's got a few knots, but he's pretty, pretty grubby. So I'm going to shampoo him in our Purify collection to begin with. And then I'm going to follow up with the Relax Shampoo for his second shampoo. And then condition him with our Relax Conditioner. Okay, so we have shampooed him twice and now we are going to condition him and I'm using the Relax Conditioner and I'm really going to work the conditioner in those legs and really in that head as well because we are going to scissor them so when I get him out of the bath I need to blow dry him and make sure all those knots and tangles are removed from his coat so I can get a really beautiful um, scissored leg.
Okay, so I'm just working that conditioner through his coat and I don't know if you guys can hear, but he's making the cutest little sounds. I think he is really enjoying his bath time because I normally groom him like once a month. So this is like a, a long time in between grooms for him. I think he really likes it. Okay, so I'm going to rinse his coat completely and then I'm going to take him over to the table and begin drying him. Okay guys, so I've got him out of the bath and I'm going to use a high velocity dryer on him now because he does have some knots and tangles in those legs because he is a very, very busy little boy. And I'll just take this grooming loop off him. So what I'm going to do is use a high velocity dryer on him and the dryer is going to push out those knots and tangles. But before I do that, I'm going to spray his coat with the Relax Coat Conditioning Spray. And this will just add some hydration into his coat and make it more manageable for when we brush out those knots and tangles. Okay, so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to use the high velocity dryer. So this nozzle, it pushes the air out really fast and when we're drying the coat, we can actually push out the knots and tangles from the base of the coat. So I'm going to use the end of the dryer to really push out those knots and work in our favour. So I've used a high velocity dryer on him and he is completely dry and really fluffy. He is um, losing a little bit of hair because he had a few knots. So I've used a dryer to help push out those knots and tangles. He thinks he's finished, but he's not. But I'm going to use the stand dryer on him now. So that'll give a nice flow of air onto his coat and while that's happening I'm actually going to brush him out so I'm going to be using our universal slickers so I'm going to go between the long pin and the short pin depending on the areas so with the long pin I'm going to use on his legs and really separate that coat and remove all those little knots and tangles and I'm also going to be using our relax coat conditioning spray so that'll just help um, detangle his coat while we're brushing it through and then I'm going to go through with our fine tooth comb.
Okay, so he is completely dry, completely groomed out. So there's lots of little flyaway hairs going everywhere. I can put a fine tooth comb through his coat. So I need to be able to do this because I am going to be using snap-on attachment combs. So that is a blade on a comb and it needs to run through this coat when we're clipping him. But before we do that, I'm going to clip out his little pads, do his private, um, do his nails, grind his nails, and then he'll be all set, ready to be clipped. Okay, so now I'm going to use my snap-on attachment comb. So this is a 22 millimeter, and I'm going to use that on his body, and then I'm going to scissor in his legs. So when we go through his body with our snap-on attachment comb, it's really important that not only is the coat brushed out completely, so there's no knots and tangles, because this comb that's attached to the clipper and the blade, if there's knots and tangles in the coat, it will actually hook onto it and drag it through and it can be really uncomfortable for our dog. So we want to make sure there's no knots and tangles. And when we go through this coat, we're going to make sure we're going to follow the direction of the coat growth. So going down the coat. So I'll just get him into position and then we'll begin clipping.
So we're moving his ear forward and we're popping the snap-on attachment right behind his ear. So we've gone from the back of his head, so his ossiport, so this area, and then we're coming down the shoulder and still following the direction of the coat growth and then coming straight off that shoulder down towards the elbow area. And coming around his rib cage. As soon as we don't follow the direction, if we come directly across, we can put a line in that coat and it creates a bit of a step. So this is why it's super important to really follow that direction and really watch where the coat's grow going and what it's actually doing. down his back leg and again I'm just skimming I'm coming off the hip area coming down and then just skimming over that back leg and coming into our flank area and it's a really good idea to pop our hand behind the flank just so we feel where it is as we're clipping just allowing that blade to work through that coat so I'm not forcing it I'm just giving it time to work through it because if we force it sometimes when they've got a really thick coat like he has it can catch up in the blade so just gently glide, glide it through the coat allowing it to work through. Okay, so when we're clipping his front area, what I wanna do is bring our clipper work up to his jawline and then coming down into his front legs. And I'm also going to go up in reverse as well because this will actually make the coat a little bit shorter and he does wear a collar, so um, it will help with any knots and tangles. So, there's his jawline and we can feel it and then coming down into his throat area and down into the front of his legs. And then coming in reverse, good boy. And see how it just takes that little bit of extra coat off. So it's nice and short in that throat area. Good boy.
Okay, so combing up the outsides of our front legs and the fronts. And I'm going to use my clipper to come on the side, his shoulder area, and I'm going to skim in the sides of his legs. So this will just help with the scissoring and we want a nice straight line coming off his shoulder. And the other side, coming off the shoulder and straight down. And then we're gonna follow through with what we did with the front, we're going to do with the back. So coming off his hip area and then just coming straight down that back leg. And just skim off anything that's hanging out of this line. And then coming off his rear end. And I like to clip to the hock area and scoop that off. This other side. Coming off that hip area, straight down that leg. And we're not going hard up against the leg with the clipper, we're just skimming anything that's hanging outside that line. And then coming down to the start of his hock. So that area just keeps it nice and clean. Good boy. Okay, so the last area we have left is his underline. So I, I'm going to actually change the snap-on because I like this area to be nice and short. And my rule is that I always like my underlines to come up to their elbow. So that's something that I just like to do, but it's also great because it keeps it nice, neat and tidy for when he goes home and he's walking and being social. Okie dokie, so I'm doing a half an inch on his underline and going with the direction of his coat growth. And that's about 13 millimetres. So it is a lot shorter than his body, but we're going to blend that in when we scissor that area. So we have finished clipping his body and now my next step is I like to trim their feet and then work my way up the leg. So he's a little bit fidgety with his feet, but overall he's a pretty good boy. So we're going to scissor a nice round foot. Using my fine tooth comb, I'm going to comb all the hairs downwards and using a pair of curved scissors. Good boy, buddy. I'm going to scissor his foot on a 45 degree angle. And I like to scissor their feet while their feet are on the ground and coming around the front of that foot. So it's nice and round. And then once I've scissored my shape, I'm going to pick it up and just still comb everything downwards and towards his pads. Good boy, good boy, you're okay. And anything hanging over the bits that we've scissored while the foot is on the ground, we're going to scissor off. So we don't wanna change that shape 
it's just anything hanging over those areas. Okay, so combing all those little hairs down. Put our scissors on a 45 degree angle and scissor a round circle. I like him to have nice round feet that have substance to them, so I don't like to pinch him in too much. Comb out all those little hairs. And scissor anything that's hanging out of that shape. So all these little bits we can scissor off. This keeps that pad nice and clean when it's on the ground. So we've scissored all our feet nice and round. And now we are going to begin scissoring our legs. So I'm going to start with the front. So what I want to achieve is nice straight lines coming down to his feet. Okay, so I'm going to run my scissors down the sides of his legs and come straight down. and keep combing up your work. And then keep coming down with your scissors. So from our front profile, we want a nice straight leg. I like his legs to be a little bit fuller as they're coming down to his feet. same with our front so just coming straight down I'm probably only taking about half an inch off his legs because I want them quite full and the insides as well And then the back of our front leg, so we want a nice straight line coming from his elbow to the floor area, to the table. So we have the shape that we want. So now I'm gonna use my blenders and get this nice and smooth and nice and even. So combing up all those little hairs and coming in with my blenders and just getting this coat nice and even and a really plush finish. And as we're scissoring, it's a good idea to keep combing up that coat. Just to make sure we're getting all those little hairs. Thank you. 
Okay, so his back leg, I'm going to do the same process and technique. So going through, coming straight down into that scissored foot and anything really hanging out, I'm gonna scissor off. So it's going to probably be around half an inch I'm going to take off. Cause I really want these legs to be nice and full and teddy like. Okay, so the insides, I'm just going to come straight down the inside of the back leg. And again, probably taking off around half an inch and making sure it's a nice straight line. So I'll show you with the other leg. So coming straight down and then scissoring in that transitional line into the foot. Cross check and comb everything up. Oh. It just keeps it nice and tidy inside those back legs. And then comb all our work back up. Good boy, Bentley. Good boy. And using our blenders, just blend in that work and that shape. And get your scissor work nice and neat and tidy. But still keeping a nice straight parallel line coming from our hip down to our leg. that back leg so blending everything in and then blending in our rear end so I like to just follow the shape of their little derriere and just making sure it's really neat and tidy around this area so they don't have any little accidents and it's easy to keep clean. Okay, so I'm just blending in his tail area into his body. Now his owners like a shorter tail, so I'm going to use my straights and probably scissor half of his tail off, the hair off, not his tail. Good boy buddy. I'm going to part his tail in the middle 
and then scissor upwards. Good boy. Good boy. And then comb it down. And comb it to one side. Scissor off anything hanging over that first cut. Comb it to the other side. Good boy. You can do it. And then scissor anything hanging over that. And comb everything down. And scissor off any hair hanging over that tip. So I always like to hold the the end of the tail it is super important because if we just come in and cut we have no idea where the tip of the tail is I actually don't mind them sitting down while I scissor their tails because they can just relax into it Okay, so his tail and his legs are done. So I'm just gonna do his underline, like just scissor that in. Our final step of our body is to scissor our underline in. So remember we did a half an inch here and then a longer snap on on his body. So there is going to be quite a difference when we visually look at where with that transitional line so comb everything out and using our blenders or you can use straights or curves I prefer my blenders and just blend it all in and we don't want to see any clipper work so we don't want to actually see where the longer bit is and the shorter bit we just like it to naturally transition good boy so we don't want to see where the longer clipped area is. We want a smooth transition into that shorter underline. And just cross check our underarm area because we can actually see where the longer hair is and where the shorter hair is. So we're just going to scissor that off. So it's nice and smooth in that area now because as he moves, we don't want any little hairs sticking out. Okay, so let's work on his little head. So I want this nice and round and really teddy and really, really lush. So when we look at him, we feel like we're looking at a, a teddy and we just want to squish him. So I'm going to scissor out uh, the little hairs in the inner corner of his eyes. So I'm just going to use my straights for that. Boy. And using my thinners in that stop area, so we're just going to clean out in between his two eyes here. So I'm pretty happy with how that's cleaned out. Comb up all that hair because we're going to be working in a round circle so his nose and his little eyes I would like either dead set in the center of his face or I prefer them lower down so more hair on the top of his skull area. I'm going to use my curves on his fringe on a 45 degree angle I think he'll feel fantastic once he can see again. So I'm just going to move his ear 
backwards and I'm holding it with my index finger so it's out of the way and I'm going to create a round circle from the side profile. So this is our side profile. Coming from his lip area, through his muzzle, around, up into his cheek, heading towards his ear canal. So we're keeping this area nice and tidy and nice and clean so we get a nice airflow into that ear so we can see that circle and as I'm grooming I'm constantly looking at our different viewpoints so our side profile so I'm constantly checking and then I'm also going to be checking our front profile making sure this is nice and round as well and his other side coming up into that cheek area And towards his ear canal. We want to meet up our jaw area to the two sides that we've scissored. And this is where we're just blocking everything in with our curve. So we're going to go back through with some blenders and thinners and really soften off his expression. And let's round off the top of his skull and I'm probably taking about half an inch off and coming in from the sides of his muzzle up towards his skull area and just getting this nice and round. And as we're grooming a round head, we want to make sure that each side is equal. So we have the same amount of hair everywhere we look. So on this cheek, we've got the same amount of hair here as we do here. So combing up the hair that's on the his muzzle area and the bridge of his nose. And then I'm going to scissor that. I like to scissor this the same shape as the top of their skull. Constantly comb up and your, out your work so we get all those little hairs. And now we are going to scissor the back of his skull. So it's just this transitional line from if we're coming up at the front of his head coming up and around we still want this to be a nice rounded shape so this transitional area so the area that we've clipped into the area that we've scissored we want this to be a nice smooth transition into both different techniques so from our clipper work into our scissor work going to comb everything back out and then I'm going to go through with a blender and then just soften off all these edges so we get a nice round appearance so it's really soft and cute and cuddly to look at. Thank you. 
tidy off our jawline. So when we comb everything down, anything sticking out from where we've scissored our shape in, we're just going to scissor off because we still want this nice and round and curved coming up to that cheek area. I'm going to switch to my thinners and just soften off the top of his muzzle area and around his lip area. Good boy. piece of grooming is these ears so we want those nice and round so using my curves I'm just going to round those off and then blend them in so we get a nice soft appearance I'm going to use my blenders oh boy and then use our blenders to just blend in those ears so we get a nice soft round ear i love grooming round ears they're probably my favorite ear Just blend in the inside as well so it's still nice and soft and we've got no sharp scissor cuts. So then by the outside and the inside it's still nice and soft. And let's just check how it's transitioning into his head so what I'm going to do is just come off his skull and then come straight down into that ear so it's nice and soft through here. So it changes the front appearance. It softens it all in. Okay, so he's all done. So I'm just going to give him a whisper of the relaxed cologne. So his coat's nice and refreshed and smelling beautiful. Okay, so he's all done, all complete. So this is a big groom for him because like I said, he gets groomed nearly every month by me. So um, it's a big step, but I think he looks fantastic and it's a perfect teddy trim for him. If you guys would like to see more grooming tutorials, definitely subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions about equipment or anything about this groom today, please drop some questions in the comments below and I will put in the description all the equipment we've used and I can put in a little bit about Bentley as well. But um, until next time and thanks for joining us. Happy grooming guys.